So Christian has very kindly agreed to take some questions as well, but before he does that, I'm going to invite Fiona Matthews to come up and uh, tell you about the Earth Champions program. Um, Fiona, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andrew. And Sir Crispin, thank you very much. That was an extraordinarily imp important and profound talk. Um, and it's a great honour to be here. Thank you. Earth champions, what are they and who are they? The philosophy of our foundation is that, in fact, everyone here could be an earth champion. And indeed, in the future, it's quite possible to do that. The uh, motto of our program is that an Earth Champion is a local hero who will have a global impact. Because the point is that everyone at a local level can make a difference. And when you watch the news and you watch some terrible catastrophic fire or typhoon or extraordinary flood, and you think, oh, how dreadful, and you feel powerless, you probably are on that level. But at the local level, if you get together with your building, with your business, with your family, and indeed with your government, which many of you here can do, and decide to shift even two degrees closer to a sustainable future, your outcome's entirely different where you're heading. Our program is really about positive solutions. It's not to do with, like many of my colleagues who are very rightfully pointing out there's problems, we want to find answers. It's a bit like running a school. If you focused on the 2 or 3% in a school that were misbehaving, that were impossible, that were not well, like we seem to with the media, then you end up with a very unhappy school. But a lot of the media, particularly in the West, tends to point out the problems, the, the massive you know, disruption in communities and things. We very rarely point out the answers. So what we've done last Friday with the support and involvement of Sir Crispin, who chairs our global judging panel, is we did a call to action at the Foreign Correspondents Club, and we're inviting everyone in Hong Kong who live here or work here to take a moment and think about who they know that makes a difference. If you've noticed anyone that inspires you because they're doing something in your building, they've introduced the recycling system, they've introduced a simple way of um, saving energy. If, they've, if you know someone that's doing something very innovative, as we keep discovering all over the world, the unsung heroes are everywhere. And they're the ones that we need to find to take the step, the paradigm shift we're all going, going to have to have to address climate change. So the, the quest is very simple. We do a call to action to invite you, in, whether you're in government, business, corporations, schools, universities, or at the local level in your family, to nominate outstanding solutions that you see, practical things. If your company is doing some exciting R&D and you want to let your shareholders know, you might like to nominate that because that, in fact, will excite your shareholders and particularly your young employees. They really do want to work for companies that are making a difference. And I'm sure a lot of you know that. So there's the call to action. We evaluate those, both at the local level with experts, and then at the global level, Sir Crispin presides over the whole judging panel. And that involves the UN Environment Program, the UN Development Program, and the World Intellectual Property Organization. They then evaluate the, the outstanding solutions. And we have a celebration on the 8th of November here in Hong Kong of all the champions. It's a win-win quest. So that whether they're the outstanding winners or they're just the everyday people who may be outstanding or not, they all receive recognition and thanks with the certificate. But then we have the outstanding ones. These people become the people who will take you forward into a 2012 quest which we intend to showcase the week before the Olympics in London. And we'll run another one between now and 2012. But this is the first Earth Champions quest we're having in Asia. We've run these before in Australia and Switzerland, and we've been invited to run them in a number, number of other cities. But we're very excited to be doing it here. On the evening of the celebration, we give you a state of the local planet 
report, which is really telling you where you're up to, like shareholders, where you're up to in terms of water, energy, transport, biodiversity. It's something that you can hear a pin drop when we give that. It's very simple in normal language. And ultimately, a month later, after the celebration, we have a day where you bring all the Earth Champions together and the community have a, a discovery day. So children, families come to meet the champions and these are local realistic mentors. Now that's the local program we're doing. On the META program, our intention is to establish an ecological Olympics. It's taken a while. We've worked with the UN treaties, but we've looked at the global benchmarks on excellence. And as you can hear from what Sir Crispin's saying, and from all of the reports from the IPCC, from UNEP and everyone else, we are up against a timeline now. It's becoming more and more necessary for us to discover local wisdom. Because local wisdom will be the, the thing that can pull together the cumulative effect to shift our behaviour into the new paradigm. To live sustainably and make it fun. We can either terrify the public and tell them, you know, just where we're heading, and it's much faster than any of us thought. I chaired the Climate Change Committee in Australia for four years, and I used to hate hearing where we're going. And I used to feel powerless, and I've worked in sustainability for 20 years. And I know that there are great industries, great individuals innovating. And in Switzerland, we found 68 Earth Champions, and they all went up on stage of the Olympic Theatre. So the Olympic Theatre Committee, the Olympic IOC, saw what we were doing, and they have given us the rights to showcase in 2012 the outstanding champions we find in cities. So the journey of this is really, truly the, a similar paradigm to the Olympics, except you don't have to run fast or jump high. You may be a world expert or a humble inventor who has figured out a way of cleaning up your air in a novel and important way, or helping to clean up the Pearl River Delta, which could use some help. There's tremendous opportunities. It's for your future business opportunities. These are your heroes. So we invite you to join us on this quest. And at the door, there are nomination forms. And on our website, you can download them. Look around in business or in your, in your schools or universities. And please, we'd love to hear from you. We'd also love to um, invite companies, if they wish to be a sponsor for the Hong Kong Local Earth Champions Quest, or on a longer term, if they want to join us going into the Global Quest, we'd really welcome hearing from you as well. Thank you. And Chris, to Crispin, it's a great privilege. We're very blessed to have him. And thank you so much, and very much business leadership um, on climate change, all of you, we thank you and um, I'm sure there's some brilliant, brilliant people and ideas here. Thank you.